What's up, YouTube? What's up, my subscribers? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, D Hill. <laughs> and this is my review on Real Housewives of Potomac, part three. Um, so, yeah, the season of part three of Real Housewives of Potomac wrapped up, and um, it still was a boring three part finale, but this was the most, I guess somewhat entertaining episode um the episode opened up with uh candace crying as she usually does and her and my um monique talking about the whole situation at hand which i don't think that's going to you know really work itself out and since then i have read reports that Monique um, has um, exited, you know, decided not to come back, even though she was made an offer to come back on to for the next season. Um, the gist of I took from the show was, you know, Monique's husband, Mike, was just trying to, you know, let the ladies know he didn't appreciate how they were talking about, you know, their child. And Giselle, once again, tacky as she is with her style as well as with her actions, she hired a security guard for what? I mean, yes, the man made a threat in his um one on one, you know, camera time with the producers or when he was talking to Monique. Um, but he said that he's a man, so therefore he would not do those things. But he just don't appreciate you talking about his 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 children. Giselle knows damn well that man wasn't gonna do nothing to her. She just trying to do the most. When you know you have nothing going on, you do the most. Empty barrels make the most noise and apparently make the most noise and wear tacky outfits, Giselle. Um, and I don't like how Giselle, she didn't want to own up to or take accountability for what Mike was saying, that you try to instigate or start the conversation about the child. And then she had nothing to say but say, but to say, don't, don't effing talk to me or whatever. But then Bravo rolled those receipts, those, those, those um, clips. And then she wanted to make it seem like, in her, her defense, she was like, oh, Mike, you started the um, conversation. No, he just said his son looks like him. What parent doesn't really, what parent doesn't say that about their newborn child? Oh, he's a proud father. She is the one that said, oh, what do you mean by that? I don't think Mike was trying to say that their child was from a different father, that Monique was cheating. She took that rumor that she more likely created saying Monique had an affair with her um, personal trainer. And that's what Mike was talking about while Andy was over there trying to make it seem like nobody started this this rumor. Why would Mike just say this out of the blue? <sighs> just they didn't want to own up to it. But anyway, the, the receipts were shown. And, um... Karen husband, he, you know, announced that they're going to do a little event for their 25th anniversary, um, probably for Robin and, um, Jose or whatever, no one, they ever get married. Um, and that was pretty much the gist of this part three. Uh, yeah, that was it. The husbands that didn't show up, they knew what time it was and they didn't want to show up. <laughs> So, if y'all watched it, drop down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about it. As you can see from my review and the energy of the review, it was very lackluster like that season. Um, so, yeah, drop down in the comment section. Let me know. Let me know what you thought about. But most importantly, do not forget to be inspired, be motivated, and above all else, don't forget to laugh. For I do believe it is the best medicine.